All right, guys, welcome to another video here. In this video here, I want to talk about getting a random Boolean, so random true or false value from a script here, okay? So I have a project here. The only thing I have in scene right now is an empty game object here, and I have this script attached to that game object. This way it will run when we hit play. Let's open up the script here. Right now, it's not anything. It's basically completely blank here. So what I'm going to do here, just so you guys can see this thing a little bit better here, is I'm going to create an update method, and I'm going to... And I'm going to say, just off the bat here, is I'm going to say float, and let's just call this uh, var1 for variable. And what we're going to do is we're going to say random.value. And what random.value does here, it returns a value between 0 and 1, some type of float from here. And again, just so you guys can see it here, we're going to say debug.log, and we're going to say var1. And the reason why I have an update method here is this way we get a bunch of them spit out to the console, and this way you can see a whole bunch of different values here, okay? So let's go ahead and save this here. Back to Unity. And we see a bunch of these being printed out here. So cool. All right, so step one is done here. Now what you'll see people do is they'll get this information here. That's what you know. a lot of people know how to do. And what they'll do is they'll try to make some type of if statement or they'll divide by 100 or 50 here. If it's higher or lower, they'll make that an if true or false uh, uh, value. Uh, basically, there's an easy way to do it from here. What I'm going to do is right now is I'm going to switch this from a float to a bool. And after random.value, I'm going to say if random.value is greater than 0.5f. All right. Now, basically what this is doing here, number one, now we have a bool from here. So it's going to be true or false here. But this is basically saying that this will return, uh, will return true 50% of the time. 50% of the time. If I was to change this to something like 3F here, this will return true 70% of the time here. To, return, to reverse this here, I would go like that. That will return true 30% of the time there, okay? So let's reverse this here this way we can see it. And of course, it's a little hard to see right now because we don't, like, if we were to count through all the true and falses, we could make some type of counting system so we could actually see if the percentages were true here. But right now, I just want to see these printed to the console from here. But this way you guys understand what the 0.5 f is and this way you could influence the odds a little bit if you wanted to from here but anyways here that's a little off track here let's go back to let's go ahead and save this here back to unity here let's stop and then start again here and now we're going to see true false true false true false true false all right and of course you don't have to print a whole bunch of them there i just did that so you can see them okay so if you guys enjoyed be sure to give me a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe again this is the main takeaway right here just this little bit little line of code right there okay um if you guys really enjoy i do offer some udemy courses be sure to check them out links are in the description down below you guys did great and i hope you guys have a great day